Now from the CBS2 investigators, a grieving family demanding the Will County Sheriff's Office turn over body camera footage showing what really happened the day that their loved ones were shot and killed. Yeah, the case involves a grandfather and his troubled grandson who were both shot after deputies responded to a 911 call for help with a mental health situation. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini working the story joins us in the newsroom. Dave, it's been more than five months and nothing. Yeah, no body camera video, no autopsy report, nothing. Nothing that would shed light on what really happened inside this Joliet Township home. All they know is after that 911 call, the scene turned chaotic, and 70-year-old Eldred Wells Sr. and his 21-year-old grandson wound up dead. Newly unearthed paramedic reports obtained by the CBS2 investigators reveal the grandson, Jabbar Muhammad, was shot 15 times, including three shots to the head. And his grandfather was also shot multiple times in the chaos, including a bullet fired into his back. But that's not the story the sheriff's department told the family and the public back when it happened. Now the family is speaking for the first time only to the CBS2 investigators. In this case, I had to bury a parent and a child. What does your family deserve right now? I just want to know the truth. I can handle the truth if I know what the truth is and the body cams will give you that. We just want to know the facts. Body camera footage? Have not seen it. They won't turn it over? No. The family says Jabbar was dealing with a mental illness and was suicidal. The sheriff's department claims deputies had to shoot him because he was stabbing his grandfather when they arrived, but they never told the family they actually shot the grandfather, too. Stunning, Dave. Uh, how do we know for sure? We know they have body cameras, but we know there's an issue with turning body cameras on sometimes. Do we know there actually is body camera video showing what happened during that shooting? Well, the sheriff's office won't officially tell us anything about that. We do know, though, that just five days before that uh, shooting on November 1st, that the Will County Sheriff's Department got $1.2 million worth of body cameras to be worn by all of its officers. So in theory, those cameras should have been rolling since they were given those cameras on November 1st, and this happened on November 6th. Okay, Dave, look forward to your report tonight on the CBS 2 News at 10 following the CMT Awards. Thank you, Dave. This investigation, again, still developing. Coming up tonight on the CBS 2 News at 10, the family takes Dave inside the scene where this all unfolded. An emotional scene for them, no doubt. Don't miss the CBS 2 Investigators exclusive tonight after the CMT Music Awards.